What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and these are my top five favorite web designs that I think every web designer should be looking at right now. These are modern, they're inspirational, they are the cream of the crop and the very best that I could find online and I wanna share some of my favorites with you right now. All right, the first item I'm gonna take a look at today is 5scontent.com. 5s is a creative studio and it just has a really great impression right when you hit their site. You have this huge, big headline in this beautiful serif font, but it has this really modern layout where you have a lot of layering going on, layering here, layering there. You'd think it's really, really simple, but a lot of the attention and the emphasis is on this headline and on this cool video that's playing. They do a lot of really cool video content. And so it says, it says seven seconds to make an impression we do it in five, that tells me, boom, hey, they're gonna make me some great content. Their value is defined really, really clearly. One thing they didn't have to do that they did do is every time you click on the site, it actually changes the site-wide color palette, which is really cool. I think there's four or five different palettes and then it cycles back around. That's, you didn't need to do that. It's just a really cool touch. Let's scroll down and I'll show you what I mean by that subtle kind of animation. So here's some subtle animation that's keeping the layering idea intact. Look, it's scrolling behind the word it in five. It's over the word impression and then back under the word seconds. That's a really cool kind of weaving effect. And then as you scroll down, you're gonna get certain items that are, let's just refresh the page so we see it kind of how it's meant to be. A little really subtle, kind of clean animation and the images are folding down. As we scroll down, we're gonna get more of the video content folding down, more layering. So it looks really clean if you just look at it like this, but there's more going on here that meets the eye. For instance, right now, this headline is gonna scroll hijack, it's gonna stop and fix in the middle and now we're gonna get really fun layering and the, all of the images or the videos are actually going to move with a slight subtle parallax effect. And so I give this site like 10 stars for the really cool use of motion and layering. I think they're doing a really good job at it. Horizontal motion, um, really cool subtle micro interactions throughout the site that just make the whole thing really, really fun to cruise. Um, it's enjoyable. I love it. Good job, 5scontent.com. The second site on my list is designly.co. Designly is a web and mobile application development company in Greenville, South Carolina, and I'm giving them big points for their use of this illustrative style and animation style. Um, the whole thing is just really immersive, and so they've created this immersive experience. As you scroll down, the buildings move, the mountains don't, that's really cool. We get down to our next portion, and we just get simple animations that that make you wanna keep exploring this immersive experience. So I'm not sure how they're doing this. There's just pieces here. This might be animated SVG, like done really, really simply with some of these pieces, but man, is it done really, really well. And so 10 points for their custom kind of animation and illustration style. I just think this is really cool. If you wanna explore this um, and do something like this, even as you get down to the bottom, you can see the bridge kind of lifts up. If you're gonna go immersive, go all the way, and I think designly.co did a really good job at kind of showing that experience. The next site I wanna take a look at is stgeorgescrypt.org in the UK, and they have a site or a landing page called Then and Now. It's an exploration of time, um, and they're kind of reaching out and doing some work with the homeless and the vulnerable in the city of Leeds. It's really, really cool. I love the style. It feels a little bit classic. It feels a little bit editorial layout while being a little bit old timey with these great pictures. But as you drag your mouse around, you're getting a little bit of this fun experience. Um, and as we explore, we're gonna get some kind of fun timeline stuff that's going on here. So actually, I think I did a design like this one time, uh, really, really similar, but this is just such a cool implementation implementation of this. As we just scroll over to the right, you can see it's gonna roll through the timeline for us. And we click on an image, 
and it's gonna softly, gently animate us in. Just beautiful use of imagery, beautiful use of typography, and this great timeline experience that just feels really immersive and interactive. It feels like something you really wanna explore, and that's not something you get all the time, wanting to explore each and every page, wanting to stay on the site, and I think St. George's Cryptos are really good jobs, so kudos to them, amazing work. All right, the next site we have is takeboost.com. This is some sort of immunity vitamin. I don't know anything about about the vitamin itself, but I think that the color usage is insanely bold. Just lots of orange wow in your face. And to match that bold color use, we have this massive headline because being sick sucks. This is a really great example of bringing everything about your brand together. Brand tone, language, style, color, everything just says wham. We're unapologetic about who we are as an immunity vitamin. That's really, really cool. And as we scroll down the page, we're getting some more in your face kind of stuff. Even the animation is in your face. We have huge elements that are animating and the bottle is animating the entire way down. But again, layering, bold, in your face typography, um, just huge elements. And look, we're even hijacking the scroll here and animating certain things out, changing the colors and going even bigger. Oh my gosh, it's just a lot of fun. I, Even if I wasn't interested in buying this immunity kind of vitamin, which I'm actually not, I am interested in the amazing work that they did um, and seeing how they brought this whole thing together. The whole thing's just fun. It's a little bouncy, it's a little cartoony, but it's supposed to be because they're supposed to be getting you boosted. The whole thing's a little bit more in your face. And so I think if you wanna do something that's a little bit punchy and colorful and bold and in your face, you should take boost.com as a good reference. The last site on our list is useplink.com and it has this amazing usage of interactivity and 3D elements and animation baked right into the site. You can see as we load it up, I'll just refresh it, you get this amazing 3D animation and that just draws you in and it makes me think so much about this tagline, sending payments requests, get paid fast. The whole thing's brought together, beautiful color, beautiful typography, simple statement, it makes me love being on this site, but it doesn't end there. They're gonna to continue to use 3D elements and interactivity to excite you to continue exploring the site. As we cruise down, we get beautiful typography that's kind of dripping out and these awesome 3D elements that kind of draw you into the idea of creating payment requests. Let's scroll down and see a more use of 3D illustration and animation. The color palette's really beautiful and succinct all the way through. It's consistent. The whole thing feels branded really, really well. And again, this if this was frozen exactly how it was, it would be kind of exciting. But the fact that the 3D animation is happening makes it a million times better and it just makes it interesting. It makes a simple thing really, really interesting. Then we have the interactivity portion where as soon as we get down to the scan portion, my mouse kind of passes this certain line, I get this bubble and you're thinking, okay, what is, what is this for? And then all of a sudden I scan over a QR code. So they're saying, hey, it's a simple thing, but it's fun. So I give uh, use Plink like 100 points for taking something that could be really, really simple and just spicing it up with some simple, fun, interactive animation and elements that make it something that's kind of next level. So if you're looking for some inspiration to do some interactive stuff, some fun stuff, really engaging things, then take a look at useplink.com. I think they did a great job. Well, that's it. Those are my five favorite designs that I feel like every web designer needs to see right now. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make lots of videos about web design just like this one. So hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon, so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're inspired to start creating today. I'll see you in the next one.